No, it's funny. I don't even remember how old I was. It's just something that I've always wanted to do. I can't remember a time when I didn't want to. I think some people probably, I can go, when I was growing up, I really wanted to be a doctor. And then I ended up falling into something else. And that isn't the case with me. I'm sure there's something else I wanted to do, but I don't ever remember what it was. I just remember being a young girl and seeing what the reporters, the sidelines, different female hosts for various sporting events and thought that looks like so much fun. They get to be at these sporting events. And, oh, and there were a number of high profile ones when I was growing up and decided that this was an area that I thought I wanted to do. Hannah Storm was a big one because she hosted the NBA on NBC. Bonnie Bernstein was a sideline reporter, Marky one for NFL on CBS. And so there were a number of women that were in high profile roles that I was able to see that I thought, well, that looks really neat because everybody thinks so often of sports reporting as being a male dominated world. And I was seeing these women that were in high profile roles and that were able to expand it. And so they were ones that I did a lot of research growing up. Uh, well, I thought it was a really interesting idea when I was first approached about it. I hadn't heard about it before, but I loved when it was explained to me. I loved the concept of it. I loved the idea of having a bunch of people together and a bunch of females that are following their passions and different pursuits in the city and being able to get their stories out and maybe inspire, whether it be men, women, boys, girls, be able to inspire them and give them somebody within the city to be able to look up to. That people, this gives people an opportunity to hear my story and to be able to look and go, well, she had this dream, she followed through with it, she took the steps and maybe helped them, inspire them to follow theirs and to let them know that there is somebody from their city that's been able to do it. And not just in a media role or television role, but whatever it may be in business and in healthcare. There's so many different areas that I think that we don't always see the role models that exist within our own community. We see ones that are maybe higher profile, that are on a national scale and international scale. And there are so many great stories within our own city. Hi, I'm Sarah Oleski from TSN. Please join myself and the ladies of Happy Monkey Club and Prairie Yogi Magazine for a night of inspiration, motivation, and fun on Wednesday, February the 26th at 7 p.m. at Canada's Polo Park.